The violence was reported after repeated incidents of students of the Boku Technical School breaking curfew hours to go to Boku Senior High School to foment trouble. According to the senior house master of the Boku Senior High School, Bukari Abugbila, a similar incident earlier in the week compelled one of the house masters to chase the students out of the school compound. Not happy with the action by the housemaster, the Boku technical students mobilized to invade the senior high school Saturday night. They reportedly burnt motorbikes belonging to teachers and other property. They went to the star flat housing six families, attempted to burn down the flats, but they started with motors of staff. They burned down the motor of uh, one Mohammed Shaibu. Uh, BNI came and the police and saw the extent of damage to that motor. All these ones and, you know, other, th they, they initially even carried away our uh, handball goal post and other things. So as of now, we have not been able to, to know if there are other things they might have carried away that, we, that hasn't come to our notice yet. But the destruction to the school wall in particular is devastating because this is a wall that they did it in 2019 and the school had to almost beg money from people to get the wall constructed. The injured students have been treated and discharged while a number of the students who were reportedly arrested have been granted bail by the police. We want the government to do something about it. Students who are involved in these things from both sides should be properly punished so that they will pay for the cost of destruction. We can't allow this. Ghana is financially not doing well. And as a permanent solution to this one, we need lifetime ban on interactions between the two schools. This is the second time the two schools have clashed. A street separates the two schools.